In this video, we're going to focus on the geometry wireframes in TreeJS. So, so far we have created many different things and we already have dissected everything, but I want to show you the wireframe because the wireframes basically eventually defines the shape. And with that shape, you can probably imagine if you put on textures or colors or fabrics or whatever on it, you will see how it calculates because this is very important to visualize because right now you might be confused how does 3JS really creates or visualize if I want to put specific colors on the block or on the cube or, on the, or any geometric shape. All right, but before I go there, I realize I forgot the benefit or to show you the benefit here. So if you go here, for example, here we have our uh, cube. And remember the benefit here, we're going to the animation here with, or with request animation is it will stop basically adjusting if we move to a different tab. So all right, so look at this. Once we are hitting 5,000, I will move to another tab. And then we'll just wait for a few seconds. All right. So remember we are on 5023, if I'm not mistaken. So when we move to a different tab, this is very beneficial of this function it will not continue rotating or doing anything at all saving the loading time and resources of your computer or laptop which is quite useful because imagine here and i'm talking now for a few seconds and probably we should be far beyond the 5000 maybe 5200 5500 every second would supposed to be 60 points so easily now in the 6000 so let's click on this and as you can see, we're just only here and we started to 5,090 or somewhere it was and then it, it starts to calculate again. As you can see here now, it just stops. This is basically the biggest benefit here of that. All right, so enough about that. I want to focus here now on the next one, which is the mesh basic material. So we have the colors here, but what we can do as well is just see only the wireframe because the wireframe defines how it really looks like. So let's put in here comma and then we say here wireframe uh, wireframe, not no S. And then we say we set it on true. The moment we set this on true, save, refresh. You can see now we have just only this, and this here starts to calculate the shape basically, and helps you, or it helps 3JS to to imagine how it would look like. So if you would do a color on here, it will understand that this has a color and where it needs to draw. The same would be here. Um, if we copy this put it on the circle here and then you can also see here later on why we have all these here because now this will be very interesting so we go here on the material the mesh basic material comma put this in here all right if we save this refresh now you have 100 lines here these are the ones the spokes as i told you earlier let's what i want to do is i want to probably just remove this for now if i remove this i need to make sure that this here doesn't do anything as well because here we also have the cube as in here the constant so there will be a um, confusion so I just change this to well no I don't want to change that at all because it will be confusing as well save that refresh oh all right anyway it's not being defined all right fair enough let's comment this out save refresh uh, let's see where are we I don't see anything here suddenly Let's see why is it not showing geometry? Did I remove something unintentionally? Render, render scene camera. All right, so I'll just leave it. What I will just do is I will just change this to circle and later on we'll just figure out what is going on. Save this and refresh. All right, so now it animates. All right, and you can see it animates here. You can see here the spokes. So let me, if I just slow down the animation and remove the Z animation. So you can see here now it will animate, but it will animate very, very slow, which is fine. I don't want it too much. You can see here the spokes. So if I remove the amount of spokes here, or basically the line, let's make it 20, you will understand how it looks like. So we refresh. Now it looks like a very old fashioned wheel. And there, these are the spokes. And this is the wireframe. That's just why it starts to create lines like this here. Every line will be like this. And I guess I don't want to rotate the, the x-axis as well. I only rotate circular. 
All right. Uh, so as you can see here, oh, this is probably not the one I need to have this one here. And this was probably fine. All right, so now it will just rotate like this. So what is important? Oh, I guess this one goes down as well, but it doesn't matter now. So what is important here is you can see here probably I need just this here. Sorry about that. Save that wireframe, but let's change this to 10. So you can see now also the shape. So this is how it really draws it. And here you get almost like a windmill style shape or the rotation as well. This is basically what you have. It goes very slow. And then the more or the lesser the uh, lines you draw, the difference the circle becomes. But you can see here, this is how it really animates. You understand now how it calculates. So it calculates based on five lines here now. And this is why when we had like, I guess like 100 lines, it was becoming a very nice circle. Of course, the more lines you have, the heavier it becomes as well because of the drawing. However, this is still quite fine. It's not a problem at all. However, with the wireframe, you're now able to understand how it really works with all of these options, all of these shapes consistently. And we can work with some different shapes that would probably be nice to see even more how this works.